My name is Marie-Angèle Lasco, and I'm delighted to share some laughter yoga with you today. Laughter yoga really is about laughing. And at this time when we're all being challenged, it's important more than ever to share the benefits of laughter. Laughter can be triggered even if you're not in the mood to laugh. You may feel a little bit overwhelmed or anxious or even a little bit down in yourself and still you can laugh. Because laughter yoga is an exercise in the same way as going for a walk or going for a swim. Laughter is free and it belongs to each and every one of us. What's really interesting about laughter yoga is you don't have to have a sense of humor, understand joke or be able to tell joke. In laughter yoga you laugh for no reason. You laugh for the pleasure of laughing, quite simply. So we'll begin by uh, exercising our laughter muscles a little bit, just for a little bit of fun. We're going to introduce each other with gibberish. So I'm going to say my name properly first and then I will say my name in gibberish and I invite you, each one of you, to do the same. And if you are not in your own watching this, then maybe take turn and say your name in gibberish too. So my name is Marie-Angeline Lasco and I come from Sandyford and I've been teaching yoga for over 20 years and now in gibberish. My name is Marie-Angeline Lasco and I come from Sandyford. I've been teaching yoga for over 20 years. I hope you joined in with me and you can practice this during the week. It sounds a bit silly, but laughter yoga is about allowing yourself to be a little bit silly. Let go of self-consciousness, let go of the need to do things properly. It's okay to be silly, it's okay to make mistakes, and it's certainly okay to laugh. And even if you feel like crying, it's okay to cry through your tears, and to laugh through your tears, and to cry and laugh all at the same time. But let's let go of crying for a while, and just go into pure laughing. So, I will remind you about the three basic laughter. There's a laughter for the face, a laughter for the heart, and a laughter for the belly. So, the laughter for the face is he he he, the laughter for the heart is ha ha ha, and the laughter for the belly is ho ho ho. This week, we're going to actually combine the he he ha ha ho ho with a little exercise. Now, let's do the exercise on its own first. I'm going to take a deep breath and lift our arms up towards the ceiling. Breathe in and breathe out, arms down and drop your head as well. Breathe in up and breathe out down. And one more time, breathe in up and breathe out down. Now, as you lift your arms up, you do he he he. <laughs> as you bring your arms forward, you do ha ha. <laughs> and as you bring your arm down, you do ho ho ho. <laughs> so let's do this together. <laughs> by doing this exercise. Feel free to do it as often as you wish. And uh, I know these are stressful times. So what I'd like to invite you to do is to use your breath to relax. 
So you're going to breathe in through your nose and as you breathe out, I'd like you to imagine that you're blowing the candles on a birthday cake. So breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth as if you're blowing the candles. Making sure you get all these candles, every single one of them. Breathe in, breathe out, blow all the, all the candles out. And one more, breathe in, breathe out, blow all the candles out. One last time, breathe in and breathe out. And release. You see, the out breath is a wonderful way to release the stress. So even if you're not in the mood to laugh, actually, you can just use your out breath and just breathe out all your worries, all your troubles all your anxiety, all your fears, just breathe it all out. So we're going to continue with our laughter exercise now. And what I'd like to explore this week is one of my favorite exercises in laughter yoga, and it's called the laughter argument. Now in these times, and in every time really, um, it's quite natural to get a little bit triggered from time to time. There may be somebody for you to share a laughter argument with if you're sharing this uh, class with somebody else. But if not, you can imagine in front of you a person or a situation that has really ruffled your feathers a little bit. So what we do in an laughter argument is we imagine that we cross with that person or situation. But obviously we're not going to shout at each other, we're not going to hurt each other. We're simply going to laugh. But as we laugh, we can do all the gesturing of being annoyed. So I'll demonstrate and then we'll do it together. So imagine that I'm cross with you. I'm not, okay? But imagine that I'm cross with you. So I'm going to gesture as if I was cross and laugh at the same time. <laughs> Let's do it together. You can do it with me if you want, or you can do it with each other, or you can actually have an imagined person or situation with it. Ready? Let's go. Another deep breath and breathe out, blowing out all the candles. And one more time and breathe out. And of course, after having an argument, it's good to make the peace. Now, if you did this laughter argument with someone else, you can make the peace by giving them a big hug and have what we call a laughter hug. So you hug the person tight and you laugh. Now I'm here on my own, in front of the camera. So what I'm going to do and what I invite each one of you to do if you're doing this exercise on your own, is to wrap your arms around you and hug yourself as you laugh. Ready?
feeling? I do hope that I helped you to lift your mood a little bit, lift your spirit. And I do hope that you continue to practice laughter yoga, practice smiling and laughing, especially when you feel that life is a little bit challenging. It will help you, I promise. So until we meet again, have a beautiful day. Om Shanti.